All right. So uh, we have another viewer who's concerned about, uh, and this is a question we get uh, most years, although we haven't seen it much this year. This question wants to know what's happening to the bills uh, that would protect dogs from lethal body grip traps. This uh, viewer notes that it's been introduced in recent years and uh, often has not had a hearing uh, and um, wants to know if there's going to be any action on that. Let's start with you, Senator. Uh, I haven't heard that bill. Uh, I know it's out there. Uh, I I don't think it's going to move. It. It's not. I don't think it's got any because I think the environment bill is done. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think it's got a much of a chance this year. I uh, haven't heard it talked a lot about, so mm -hmm. I don't see it moving. Myself. I am a co-author on that bill, and indeed it has not moved. And, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, my problem is this: I come from a family that I'm just two generations away from people who literally made their living trapping on the corner of the farm that they lived on in my family's land. Uh, that was what they did. That's how part of how they made their income. I'm not insensitive to that. I think there's a rich history there uh, with folks. And, and while it isn't my fa favorite way to go about things, I'm not going to be too hard on it. That being said, the idea that you can trap on someone's land without their permission is unconscionable to me. And that is, we have to have that problem. We've tried to fix that problem. We've not been able to get across the finish line. And the idea that we have traps that uh, do have some of the uh, capabilities of injuring uh, family pets. So when you put those two together, that's a problem. I feel like if you fix one, you in some ways will eliminate the other one if you want to, and then you don't have to worry about the traps. But right now, we do have the problem. Now, I'm not saying, let me be clear with this. I'm not saying it's the norm. I think trappers in general are pretty respectful. They don't want to do that. But one of our own senators lost one of her pets to that exact problem, where someone put a trap on her land and didn't tell her, and she lost her dog to that. And so uh, I think that that makes this a problem. And I don't know of anything else I can go do besides hunting on your land without your permission, and that's going to be okay. Nonetheless, one that could actually injure you or your kids. I I truly believe it's a property rights issue. That's where I think what we need to go to as far as trespass and that type of thing and hunting without permission. Yeah. I think that's a, uh, that's a property rights issue, and I think that's a different discussion to have, and I think we could have that discussion. I think it would go farther than banning some traps because good trappers know how to put a trap mm -hmm. in that's not going to catch it, your pet. Mm -hmm. But on the, and So I think that's a... A well, slightly I, different discussion. I think, though, that if you take care of it and you make it so you can't trap on someone's land without their permission, that eliminates a lot of the problems we're going to have. If you say, because then I'm going to know where your traps are and I can, I can manage my pets and my family. But if there are traps out there that I'm not aware of, and I'm not, listen, I know a lot of, most hunters I talk to are trappers are probably pretty good about this, but the ones that aren't, and you could make the argument, well, they're not going to listen anyways. Well, if that's the case, then I guess we have a bigger problem. But that solves a lot of the problem and would put me to, put me to rest on that. You know, and I, th I think that when you talk about knowing where to go and where you are, it's easy to do that in, in kind of the suburban metro area. But when you get in northern Minnesota, there might be a 40-acre patch in the middle of a state forest, mm -hmm. and you have no idea that you just walked on somebody else's land. I there's, think no, that, there's no signs. Sure. There's no fences. There's nothing there. And how do you, if you if you put that in in law and how do how do you know? Well, I, I think it, it's tough it be to enforce that type of thing. But wouldn't it be incumbent on the trapper to make sure they understand that? Well, how do you find it? Well, I mean, you, I mean, GPS and how are you going to find a, how are you going to find an owner? I don't know. It's not my problem. I'm not the one trapping. Well, <laughs> that's the problem, right? The problem is I'm encumbering you on your land, <laughs> and I don't think that's okay. I, I get that it's difficult. I can't believe in today's technology we can't build an app for that that would give you an exact location with GPS. Well, you could probably find an exact location, but finding the owner of that is a whole nother story. Well, it could be tough. And, and, and so I do believe so it's a, I still believe it's a property rights issue, and I think that's the discussion that? we should go. What do you mean by that property rights issue? How, whether, how to find that trespass, whether, how do you, how do you handle that? Do you mm -hmm. find the person right away? And mm -hmm. I think that's part, that could be an answer to it, mm -hmm. that right now, the first time you get caught, it's you get off my property. Right, and as right. long as you go, right. you're good. Right. But now, if there was a fine involved mm -hmm. right off the get go, well, maybe I wouldn't be so apt just to go. You mean like walk the fishing on. where I can take your car and your traps with me? Or, I mean, literally, that's kind of the thing. I, I feel like you're right about that. And I, I think we're actually kind of in a violent agreement here that if you manage that part of it, the other part of it goes away. I, I agree. In my point. I agree. Not that I planned on agreeing with him this month. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's a temporary condition. I'm sure you'll come up with something else. So we're All good. Right, we're yeah. good. 